Hello everyone, I am Professor Malik Arjun Aute. Today we are dealing with the topic rolling contact bearing. Now let's see what are the contents that we are going to see in this today's session. So in this today's session the contents I will be covering is definition of bearing, functions of bearing and terminology of rolling contact bearing. So we will start with the definition of bearing. So this is the figure of rolling contact bearing. Now we are dealing with the definition of rolling contact bearing or definition of bearing I should say. So what is a bearing? So bearing is a mechanical element that permits the relative motion of the two parts such as shaft and housing with minimum friction. So exactly the main function of the bearing is to permit the relative motion between the two parts means what? Uh, you can consider uh, that uh, there is a shaft okay and on this shaft uh, you can see this shaft has been supported in a bearing right so it has been supported in a bearing and what is the function of the bearing we have it, it permits the relative motion between the two parts that is this particular shaft and housing so generally housing so housing will be like this for the bearing okay so this is the housing so what it does exactly suppose this is the shaft and this is the bearing and this is the housing so what bearing does it permits the relative motion between two parts that is nothing but this shaft which is shown in the red color and this housing but with minimum friction okay that is the definition of bearing now the next term that we will see is functions of bearing what are the different functions of bearing first function to support the shaft or axle and hold it in a correct position with respect to frame or casing means what uh, if you see if there is a shaft which is having longer length this is a shaft okay just give me a minute All right this is a shaft having a considerable length so what happens if length of the shaft is longer so it may bend due to self weight like this okay it may bend like this due to self weight and its longer length so what bearing does bearing supports the shaft and hold it in the correct position with respect to frame or casing so longer length shafts can be supported by using bearings and the second function is which is very important it ensures the free rotation of the shaft or axle with minimum friction okay so there is a free rotation as there is a free rotation means there is less friction so the second function of the bearing is it ensures the free rotation of the shaft or axle with minimum friction the second function is it ensures the free rotation of the shaft or axle with minimum friction now third one which is very important it takes up the forces acting on the shaft or axle and transmit them to the frame or casing means what suppose if any component is mounted on the shaft and that has been subjected to the machining so whenever you are going for the machining so at that time whatever the forces which are coming on the workpiece the same forces will be coming on to the shaft and those forces has been taken up by the shaft and this shaft will transform the bearing will absorb those forces or take up those forces and transmit them to the frame or casing so that is the third function of the bearing the next or third point is terminology of rolling contact bearing so here what we are going to see what is the terminology of this particular rolling contact bearing so we will be dealing with the four major parts of rolling contact bearing so rolling contact bearing consists of four major parts first one is the inner race of the bearing so that you can see here this is the inner race of the bearing second one 
is called as the outer rays of the bell. So you can see here, here it has been shown like outer ring means it is a outer rays. This entire one is the outer rays of the bearing. Next, rolling element. So here in this bearing, the rolling element is a ball. So it is a rolling element, and the rolling element should be kept at a equal distance. So that's why the fourth element is required. That is nothing but cage or retainer. So you can see here separator or retainer has been mentioned here. So what is does? It maintains the equal distance between all the rolling elements. So the function of cage or retainer is it holds the rolling elements together and spaces them evenly around the periphery of the shaft. So all the rolling elements are at the equal distance. Apart from that, there are other terms like width of the bearing. This is the width of the bearing. You can see here. Again, bore of the bearing. Bore means inner diameter of the bearing, and here the inner diameter of the bearing will be equal to the outer diameter of the shaft. And again, you can see here outer diameter of the bearing. Okay. Then you can see call it as a face of the bearing. And these are the corner radius. These are the corner radius, and these are called as the shoulders of the bearing. But the four major parts of our concern are inner rays, outer rays, rolling elements. That could be ball, roller, or needle, and cage or a retainer. So we will see these four terms uh, in detail in the next slide. So see here, this is a figure of a rolling contact bearing. Then we will see what is the inner rays now. So you can see here, this is the inner rays of the bearing. Right? You can see this is called as a inner rays of the bearing now i will say this particular section will be called as a outer rays of the bearing next will be cage or a retainer before going for rolling element we will see this is a cage or a retainer which is used to keep these rolling elements at a equal distance and last one is the rolling element that is ball. So here in the rolling contact bearing, the rolling element is used. That is nothing but the ball. So these are the four major parts for rolling contact bearing as far as terminology of the rolling contact bearing is concerned. Thank you.